Hello bassoonists of YouTube. A quick video today to talk about sandpaper. So I'm working on a contra reed right now and I've done all the scraping uh, with my file and my knife and I'm just ready to now go over the whole reed uh, with sandpaper to smooth out the final texture and also blend any areas that might have little bumps or, or things like that in it. So there's one problem that you can run into with sandpaper and that's if you're holding the sandpaper incorrectly you might catch the, the tip of your the blade of your uh, reed with the edge of the sandpaper and if you're sanding like this pretty vigorously um, you can very easily catch that tip and if you do the sandpaper will win against the reed and you'll end up basically splitting the reed from the tip down and that will ruin the reed of course. Um, the other po problem that you might encounter is if you're trying to sand like this up in the air like without anything underneath the reed um, the pressure that you're putting on the reed when you do that can also damage the blade probably the opposite side that you're actually trying to sand because of the pressure against the plaque. So the way that I prevent doing that is just making sure that I hold the sandpaper in a certain way and to always have the reed supported by the plaque and mandrel against the cutting block. So there are two regions that you sand, or two different ways to hold the sandpaper to sand different regions. I'm using 1000 grit wet dry sandpaper, um, which creates the nice smoothest finish that I want. I'm not really using this to take off a lot of material, I'm just using it to smooth the, the texture of the, the surface of the cane. So you can hold the, the sandpaper like this, so that you're using the edge of the sandpaper right up against the shoulder when you're sanding just the back half or third of the reed. So what I'm making sure to do is making sure that the edge of my sandpaper hits the shoulder that I've cut. And I'm going all the way around <clears throat> the back third or half or so of the reed and making sure that I keep it against the cutting block the whole time. I'll do that the same thing on the opposite side. And then I usually brush the reed off with my toothbrush here. And then for the tip, and this is the important thing, you want to roll the sandpaper around your index finger and use the curvy part of the sandpaper so I don't have any sort of edge of the sandpaper coming in contact with the reed. Now I can go all the way off the, the reed itself and actually sand all the way to the edge and off to the plaque so that then I know that I'm sanding the tip area as well. And you can go over more of the reed when you're holding the sandpaper this way um, because it's the safest thing to do. But you can't really get the shoulder very cleanly when you're holding it this way. So that's why the two different ways of holding the sandpaper, depending on which region of the reed you're holding, or which region of the reed that you're sanding. So that's basically it. So you have one way to hold it when you're getting the collar and shoulder area and a different way of holding the sandpaper when you're at the tip. And I suppose I don't ever use any coarser grit sandpaper than this usually, um, but if you're using like 320 grit sandpaper or 600, sand, 600 grit sandpaper to actually remove material, um, you probably want to use the same holding technique. So if you use sandpaper to get your articulating edge, you want to hold it this way so that you're not encountering an edge potentially you know you don't want to sand like this because if you go too fast and then come back in you're going to ruin the reed all right hope that helps see you next time